It's hot. A massive heat wave. Fueling flames. Getting even hotter. Pretty much everywhere, it's gonna be hot. But what if I told you I had the solution for me? 69 fans, 700 hours, one cease and desist email preventing me from using the perfect double entendre. Presenting the Just Fans hat. Summer in my workshop is brutal. I have an air conditioning unit, but I can never get it below 82 degrees. I'm constantly moving around, so I keep having to readjust the fan to point at me. I needed something that kept me cool as I worked, so I turned to Amazon. Here we have an accoutrement ensemble of cooling devices. We're gonna start with the one that I think is gonna be most effective. You see this hat everywhere, so you know it's gotta work, right? I think I need something a little bigger. Strap it on like that, and then we have a propeller, so. Here we have just a regular old hat that I found in the shop. I think I'm feeling some coolness from the lack of light. All right, next up we have this. There's no battery, it's just solar panels and a fan. So this one's not gonna work unless I'm working outside in the direct sunlight. Yeah, it's blowing wind into my eyes. If you don't think about it, it's a good design. Next up, we have the double chin chiller. If you have long hair, it'll suck in your hair and the cooling will get much closer to your face. The biggest problem with this is it's not a hat. It's gotta be a hat, you read the title. This is the coolest hat. It costs more than all of these hats combined. It's got a fan in front, it's got a fan in back. We got a, a really cool control panel right here. Chin strap. See? That actually feels really good. <laughs> Only one speaker work. Power off. Thanks for using. <laughs> I can work in the dark. It makes sense to work in the dark because it's colder. So apparently the hat has FM radio. Wait, I love that song. Go back. What is wrong with this thing's antennas? Just give me one. You can plug your phone in and charge your phone from your head. That is good, right down the middle of the face. Let's turn everything on. The hat, the hat overall is the best out of all of them, but it only has like two fans in the front and the back and like the sides of my head gets really hot and like the top of my head gets really hot. It seemed that a product that could give my head complete cooling coverage hadn't been invented yet. Luckily, I know a guy with a lot of free time and a pension for over-engineering bad ideas. Design montage! In designing the basic framework, I calculated that 70 fans would fit inside the hat. So I recalculated and made it so that 69 fans would fit inside the hat. Let's take a look at how the fans mount to the frame. Follow me! Wow, I've never seen the flaws in my work so clearly before. Here's where the fans attach. They have a little opening behind them where I can solder the wires together. The wires will run through the hollow 3D printed framework to a variable speed controller. The whole thing will be powered by a pocket sized battery bank. I want this hat to fit any size head, so I'll implement an adjustable mounting system for my bike helmet. The majority of the weight will rest on the center column. The front and side mounts will provide additional stability. All right. Let's send this thing off to the 3D printer. This hat had to be split into five parts and took over 300 hours to print. How much of the 3D printing did I record? One time lapse. Why? Because. Two weeks later, the print was complete. And after dropping a piece on the floor, I went from five to nine pieces needing to be glued together. Shout out to my buddy Michael for helping me with this tedious work. No! <laughs> after gluing the hat together, I painted the seams orange and attached little support legs to the sides. 
With the framework done, it was time to attach the fan. Oh, <laughs> Noctua fans? I went with Noctua fans because I'd already mm. spent 700 hours on the build and I didn't want to cheap out on some Alibaba fans that would stop working after 10 minutes. I have no idea why this isn't working. It's like the fans are taking up so much juice to turn on that there's not enough battery power to supply it. If anybody knows how to fix this problem, please let me know in the comments below. The fans were not working and I was at a loss. I went on YouTube to see if anyone in the comments had a solution. Yeah, I haven't uploaded it yet. <laughs> please, I don't know what to do. <laughs> please help. One week later, Michael came back over and upon reading the fan specs... Wait, I know the problem. What's wrong? 12 volts. No! no! It doesn't make sense though. Let, hey, let's, let's hit it with 12 yeah, volts yeah, and see yeah, how yeah, yeah, I want to see how it performs. Oh! Dude, all the fans went up. Whoa, feel the air coming off. Oh! oh. Woo! Bad A week so. worth of like stress <laughs> and anxiety and it was the wrong fan. <laughs> to mount the fans, all 69 would need to be removed from their housing and glued to 69 custom 3D printed mounting brackets. What do you think? Did it look good? And then we just... There it is. Let me give this thing a haircut. Lots of fans met lots of wires, all which had to be run through the hollow framework, cut down to size, and connected together. All right. <laughs> Three months in the making, 700 hours. <laughs> yes! <laughs> My baby is alive! It sounds amazing. All I hear is wind. Yeah. Let's try it on. You need a haircut first? Or is this gonna give you a haircut? Oh, we should probably go get a haircut. Oh, hey Ryan, I got a haircut? Yeah. All right. I'm sure you get this a lot, but I've made this hat and this is like pulling my hair out. So I'm definitely not receding. Okay. It's not a receding hairline, it just ripped it out. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. How many uh, haircuts have you given in a shed? Um, just this one. <laughs> All right, you're done. With my hair fully cut, it was time to feel the power of 69 fans. 69 fans. I just saw so many emotions go across your face. <gasps> wow. It fits so well, like so refreshing. It feels cold. Whoa, this is like coming out of a dream into reality. <laughs> <laughs> so cool! <laughs> the hat worked, I was cool, but I couldn't help but wonder what this thing was truly capable of. Turns out, quite a bit. It keeps you cool during those intense gaming sessions. It dries your hair in just 40 minutes when you get out of the shower. I was using it so much, I even wore it in my sleep. This hat even works great underwater. Subscribe! Yeah. Do you know what this means? I don't know. That everyone will be wearing hats like this in the future? My God. Let's go oh. over to the driving range and hit a few virtual balls oh. in the space. Well, then what do you want to do? I don't know. Something. Wow. What else was this hat capable of? Well, after weighing myself with and without the hat on, I found that it provided 12 pounds of lift. Oh, wow, 120? This was enough to fly on its own and even act as a delivery drone. Let's see what my hat dropped off. <laughs> it's my YouTube plaque for 5,000 subscribers. <laughs> awesome. Do you think the Astros will let me bring in a hat that has 69 fans in it? <laughs> With all the amazing things this hat was doing, I figured I should wear it out to a local baseball game to support my team. Yeah, I do only fans, only wearing this. 
The power of the hat was enough not only for the Astros to win, but to win five years in the past. The Astros are world champions! Oh! 